to... Hello, my name is Cindy Camacho, and I am doing my senior sim research project on antifungal properties of Narcissus amaryllis and Pacrantium viridimum, also known as daffodils. Background. Daffodils contain alkaloids. One of the alkaloids that daffodils contain is called galanthamine, and galanthamine is worth as much pound for pound as gold in certain areas of the United Kingdom. This is leading to pharmaceutical companies mass producing daffodils for this reason. The bulb of daffodils have been used in medicine before. The bulbs were actually used in traditional Japanese medicine called kampo to treat strains, wounds, and burns. New information on daffodils in medicine. Daffodils are now being used to help treat people who have Alzheimer's disease. The alkaloids that daffodils contain help stimulate memory loss, which is very vital to a person who suffers from Alzheimer's disease. There was also a study done on HIV and cyclomegavirus infections, and it showed that a substance taken from the daffodil inhibited the infections. This is now leading to further research and study on daffodils. My purpose of this study is to determine if daffodils contain any potential antifungal properties. Testing this purpose can lead to a breakthrough in medicine because many of the medicines used today to treat fungal and systemic fungal infections have very harmful side effects and can cause more harm to a person. An example of this is the medicine Amphotericin B. It can cause headaches, pulmonary problems, and renal disease. My hypothesis is that daffodils contain antifungal properties. Sorry. If, if daffodils contain antifungal properties, then the growth of aspergillus, rhizopus, and penicillium will be suppressed. The materials that I will be using for my study are a mortar and pestle, test tube vials, and culture plates containing rhizopus, penicillium, and aspergillus, a sea daffodil bulb, and a daffodil bulb. And the total cost of my study is $100.80, which is under the $150 budget. And the picture to the right is a culture plate containing rhizopus, aspergillus, and penicillium. Methods. I am going to wash and cut the daffodil bulbs, and then I will crush the bulbs using a mortar and pestle, where I will then use the extract that I collect from that to make a series of cereal dilutions. I will then apply the dilutions to the culture plates containing aspergillus, rhizopus, and penicillium. The culture plates will then be placed in an incubator set at 25 degrees Celsius for about a week depending on the species. Once the culture plates are taking, taken out of the incubator, they will be, um, the colony sizes will be measured and compared to the initial colony size. The culture plates will then be the, the colonies will then be transferred to potato dextrose agar plates to see if any new germination occurs. And this is my timeline. I plan on starting my experiment in January where I will also do trial and error of my cereal dilutions. And in February, I'm going to test my daffodils for antifungal properties. And I will end my, pre my final project in April with my final presentation. My conclusion is that antifungal properties will be noted in the more concentrated dilutions of the daffodil extract. Thank you.